Okay, so right now it's about two o'clock. I don't know why I'm starting this video so late. I've literally just been chilling here, uh, doing not much, but I need to do some work. I don't feel like going to uni, so I'm just gonna like hit up some cafe or something. But today I wanna talk about an important topic um, as I go along this video. And that's to do with how I avoid burnout while, um, while being at university. And since I have studied for almost five years, that is half a decade, I think I have accumulated a fair amount of experience and a fair amount of wisdom within this topic and this theme. Um, and hence, I would like to share some of those um, wise words with you today and some of these incredible tips. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is too gas. Okay, I ain't that gassed yet, but, <laughs> but okay, just share some of those things that I've learned with you today. But first, let's find a cafe to go and do some work in. Okay, uh, so I've just got into Waterloo and the weather is actually dead. It's windy, so let me just share this tip quick time before I go and find somewhere to study. Um, so basically, the first thing I do is when I go throughout my week, I'm working and studying by default. So any free time I have, I'm studying. And then whenever any motives come up, like going out to eat, going uh, shopping, whatever it is, then I go and do that. I don't skip these things because I have work to do. I feel like in particular, this is key because part of the feeling of burnout is that you feel like you're missing out on life events. You feel like you're missing out on your hobbies. You feel like you're missing out on um, people's, I don't know, weddings, events, whatever, because you have work, because you have study. Um, and so this kind of just relieves that feeling. Now the risk of this is that you take too many days off, you, know, you have too many chill days and, too, and you're not doing enough work essentially. And the way to overcome that is you just need to have some self-awareness or try and develop that and actually measure how much work you're doing. Sometimes I go a couple of weeks without doing anything that I enjoy and just studying and some weeks I'm just doing bad stuff and I'm not studying that much. Um, and so yeah, like I'm working by default and then whenever stuff comes up then I go and do that too. Um, yeah, that's the first tip. Okay, so but now let's um, let's just duck out of here because it's a bit windy. So I found myself a coffee shop to sit down in and I just unpacked my stuff and got to work. I don't really drink coffee so I got myself chai latte and uh, some cake. Uh, I'm still doing paediatric medicine which covers topics about children from their born to 18 years old. And I finally finished reading all the content which was actually huge. But obviously I can't record much of it at this stage. And the thing is there's so much to learn this year and time will tell if I can get it all done in time. And personally, for learning new content, especially when it comes to applied information, the key has been to practice questions as I go along. Not only to show me the gaps in my knowledge, but also to strengthen the knowledge that I've already acquired in whatever topic I'm studying. So to start the learning process for pediatrics, I began doing questions on a website called PassMed, which has loads of multiple choice questions. And basically, I just do them knowing that I'll get most of them wrong. And then I look at the answer, I write down the answer, and also I write down all the extra information that comes with it. And here you can see the website, and here's the percentage that I got which doesn't look good at all to be honest but the key is to really humble yourself knowing that by the end of this whole process you'll be hitting the really high percentages you can see here the explanation for the answer and I just write it down on an app on my iPad and hopefully after like one to two weeks then it will stick and we'll see how it goes okay um, yeah so I got home earlier on and I actually recorded this part but I uh, basically can't use that footage because it was just too dark here so I have to refilm it but um, all the L's aside it's been a fairly productive day uh, one of the issues is when you're filming you can't really get as much work done because you're thinking about other things um, I'm planning to make these videos a series these study videos uh, up until my exams because it's just too long actually like dedicating a full day to filming and editing uh, so with this I can just kind of go along with my day I can just kind of carry the camera can I do some work you get what I'm saying yeah I hope you get it uh, so if you do like these videos leave a comment let me know the second tip is fairly common sense and it's easier said than done but it's to do with actually starting your work early that is something that has been a massive key for me in the last few years and the reason for this is that number one 
because you're spreading out all the work over a long period of time, it just gives um, give some time for the information to sink in to really marinate and for me anyway it just means that I don't have to be as focused all the time just for the information to um, to stay and the second thing is that half of all the stress and anxiety that comes with exams for me anyway is to do with whether I've covered all the content whether I have enough time and whether I've done everything within my hands in order to make sure that I know the content and the second half is just really kind of making sure I bang it on the day that I perform um, as needed and so if I've already done all the work and I know that I've done everything within my hands then 50% of that is just kind of gone and I've got this relief and now just 50% of the stress left and number three is something that I've been reflecting on for the past few months and to be honest I don't know if it applies to everyone like number one and number two kind of everyone can apply those but this one um, yeah I'm not sure but you can reflect on it too and it's to do with what you should actually get out of your university experience, right? And where your priorities lie. And this is, again, I've been thinking about it because I've spent so long in uni. And I think that when you come in as a first year fresher, the second year, uh, for a lot of people, there's an academic focus. You wanna hit like crazy grades because you've come out of A-levels and you've done well, now you kinda wanna keep that going. And so that becomes the primary focus and the primary priority. But is that how it should be? Uh, because there's so much more that you can get out of university and especially at that age between like 18 and 23 where the habits that you form uh, the skills that you get are really kind of solidified within that age then is academics really the only thing that uh, is the focus I mean there's so many things you can learn you can learn new skills you can learn more about yourself and this is particularly true nowadays where just getting a degree doesn't actually guarantee any success doesn't guarantee any jobs then what actually will help in career progression is transferable skills like communication skills empathy like um, like being someone who's relatable to other people someone who uh, can network someone who has extra skills whatever they may be yeah I mean do real well academically but then if you do like instead of getting a hundred percent you get like 75 and that's uh, it should be calm in it as long as you've actually supplemented with loads of other things and you might be asking how does this relate to the topic at hand like burnout and stress and it's a bit convoluted but the way I've linked it in is that once you've actually reflected and you've thought that you know what getting 90% in my exams isn't priority if it happens then great if it doesn't then great too then it just kind of takes off that heaviness and that burden off your shoulders and you can kind of focus on uh, and progressing in life so yeah I don't know that got a bit deep still but hope you liked the video comment like subscribe